Hey, what's going on guys? Kodomaki Games here. In this video, we're going to be incrementally updating our Zabris keys or our hash key that represents uh, the current position on the chessboard, some sort of a unique, almost unique identifier of the chessboard position that would later on be used for uh, the purposes of detecting the repetitions, uh, if any occur during the, chess, the game of chess, and also serving uh, to uh, for the transposition table purposes. And now regarding the format of this video, well, I could have, well, actually the easiest way is just to copy paste uh, 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 all those lines of code responsible for inc incremental updates of Zobrist keys, but that's that's too easy. So uh, instead, I would like to show you the process I've been through within the last two days, uh, within a uh, couple of days ago. And this is really, uh, this process is, I hope, hopefully this process would be helpful for those of you who is doing this for the very first time and really want to understand like kind of how it works. And as far as I've just learned this technique, uh, I'm really tempted to share this process and share the debugging that I've been through uh, a couple of days ago uh, when I was actually implementing this incremental updates. And also, yeah, I just, I just forgot to do one important thing. Uh, I just want to go to talkchess.com and find the proper... Oh, so somebody's quoting my stuff there, apparently. So I just want to... Uh, where is this? A quick question. Hmm... So is this the is this the exact okay it's not that sorry guys just just hold on just incremental updates oh oh here it is here it is here it is yeah so the only answer here but this is very valuable I just want to give a, uh, a credit to this guy so Pedro Castro Pedro thank you very much for helping me so he, he, he wrote a post here helping me to debug the process of incremental updates. So he's the author of chess engine called Denesach. Sorry, probably it's not pronounced like that, but anyway. So just wanted to give a credit to, to Pedro here. Okay, and now without further ado, we can actually start writing some code. So first, let's actually compile and run this from the previous uh, video. So make debug and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. And uh, I will now want to uh, run not the perf test, but the perf driver. And we will start, we will start at the depth of one like this. So it should just do this, do this instantly, but here is the trick. So we want to be interrupting the execution every time the incrementally updated hash key doesn't match the hash key that was built from scratch. That's the general idea. And as far as we also need to restore the hash key back within the take back macro, uh, uh, I would have put that interrupting code there as well. But First, let's actually start with the make move function. And we need to go down here uh, just right after this side change. So here I just want to create this kind of debug uh, hash key incremental updates. I will command this code later on, but leave this for history. <laughs> for the future generations, <laughs> for the future code monkey kids like me. Okay, so uh, uh, I want to create the U64. Mm, let's call this hash from scratch like this, and it would be equal to generate a hash key. So here we're generating the hash key from scratch. Generate hash key. Yeah, uh, I would rather give a commentary here, some additional commentary as well. So here we have a sort of a section 
Okay, and here is the commentary. So we want to build. Uh, we want to build hash key uh, for the updated position after move. Uh, let's say like after move is made uh, from scratch. So build hash key for updated position after move is made from scratch so this is it and now uh, in case if uh, built uh, if hash key uh, if hash key built from scratch scra scratch doesn't match uh, doesn't match the one that was incrementally updated we interrupt execution so just just overall commentaries for for the code following below uh, so I can simply say like if and now I need to compare the actual hash key and this hash key from scratch so hash key uh, hash from scratch sorry hash from scratch so if it doesn't match and now obviously it won't match uh, we want to so let's first actually bring the move so move and that's uh, sorry not the, not not we don't need anything just just the move and then we want to print move and the current actual move then i want to print the board to get a visual idea of what move is made on board and also print f i call this like hash key should be like this hash key should be and long long hexadecimal followed by the new line and hash from scratch here hash from scratch okay so if we now compile around this code uh oh and one more little thing uh, i also want to interrupt the user input by get character like this so it would now has to drop after the very first move and it's incredibly strange why it doesn't <laughs> hold on a sec guys okay what have i done actually if it's if it's not equal so obviously so now it should get interrupted okay so and here we have uh uh here, here is the trick so we're making this move d5 to d6 so what we need to update in this case we need to update we need to update the pawn position so uh, uh, remove the pawn position from d5 so ex so ex subtract that well I I'm saying this word subtract but actually this is xorin but it might be considered like subtraction from the conceptual perspective so kind of get get away uh, the pawn from the hash key on d5 and add the pawn on d6 so the overall idea we need to uh, remove the uh, the pieces from the hash key every time it disappears from a square and add uh, a piece every time uh, add, and add a piece uh, into our hash key hash, hash key every time uh, it appears on the screen and the move is the custom uh, appearing and disappearing of this sort of uh, of a piece and also we need to deal with uh, also we need to deal with this sort of uh, uh, board, uh, board variables changes so if side is changing is if in peasant changing and so on but before that uh, I want to add one more little test so here uh, I just want to say that print F so here we are within the make make move territory uh, like this 
so and also uh, I want to provide the same uh, framework for uh, the take back function to debug that as well so I just copy this and uh, let's go to our perfed driver okay and here after we're taking the move back we need to make sure the same stuff so uh, so here I just want to say that we are taken back this won't be used uh, as, as uh, when, when we'll uh, add some lines to our make uh, to our copy board and take back macro to actually copy the hash key this won't be firing anymore but at the initial stage this is important to have this because otherwise if you forget that that would be hard to debug okay so let's drop back to our make move and the next uh, point where we should get stopped would be this take back because we won't be restoring the the, the, the hash key and this this very looks like uh, a debugging with the so-called GDB uh, command line tool for for debugging where you can set the breakpoints but that's too complicated so I'm using this get character to pause the execution in this sort of, of the way and to get some visual uh, representation of what's going wrong so uh make move i just want to okay here okay so the very first thing that is changing uh i'm sorry that is actually changing in this particular case uh is the site so we want to hash the site uh hash site so i'm not sure if hash site is a good name but this is literally literally what it is so we need to take our hash key which is the global board state variable one of those and we need to say bitwise or equals just like we've done in the previous video before generating this from scratch so hash key uh, bitwise or equals with the site key this is it so now this uh, key should be changed it won't be like what we needed like how we needed to have but this would be changed already hopefully uh, excuse me as from scratch and declare it you kidding me uh, what did I do wrong oh this hold on a sec hold on a sec this is because mm, yeah I just uh, sorry I just I just need to make just need to copy this to the perf test this would be slow as hell but it's just a debugging so we can allow us doing like so okay and we don't print the move but here we want to print the move like this okay okay but anyway we drop okay here so yeah let's get back to the make move function okay make move what's not, not that yet here so the first difference so yeah we didn't yet change our hash key okay so now we have this initial initial hash key so it's not what it should be so the first thing we just hash the site and the key should get changed accordingly so it has changed you see like it was like this now it's like this but it's not yet like this so in order to achieve this so the difference is that this key has the pawn on d5 while this one already has the pawn on d6 and doesn't have a pawn on d5 so we need to handle this uh, now let's go to scroll scroll up where we're moving the piece and here we want to hash the piece hash piece and by saying hash piece uh, I mean uh, remove the piece from uh, remove piece from the source square from source square and put it on target square uh, and this is from hash key perspective 
maybe a little bit weird explanation but this is what it is actually so uh, remove piece and put it on target square from hash key perspective so kind of just what I've been talking about so we're just kind of subtracting the piece from the hash key and we kind of adding this to the new to, to the new position but it's not subtracting and adding it's actually XORing so well okay okay guys I just uh, I don't really want I don't, I don't like this commentary so I would better talk through this this is something that is that I should to talk through so uh, we take our hash key and now we want to bitwise or equals it with the piece keys and oh okay so uh, uh i know how i, I just bring, make the commentaries like this so uh the piece itself we have the piece uh we have extracted the piece from the move itself so this is the piece variable and also we have the source and target square so we need to remove this from the source square and uh remove piece from uh, source square in hash key let's say it like this in hash key and here we want to put a piece on the new square so hash key bitwise or equals piece keys and now piece and now the target square target square and if I did everything correctly, so so here we did remove the piece, and here we want to set the piece. So I want set piece to the to the target square in this case to the target square in hash key. So removing the piece from hash key and setting the piece into the same hash key via XOR in here. And, it, and if I did everything correctly, it now should not print this position with a D5 to D6 anymore, but instead it should print uh, this position back and get an error when we're taking the move back because the hash key is not yet getting updated there. So let's check this. Okay, so just just what I just what I expected. So you see, like uh, now we have this is the take back territory, not the make move. So here we have the make move territory, and the move is made. Here we have the take back territory. So when uh, on taking the move back, we have a mismatch. So this is the key from the previous uh, uh, for, for this function actually. But as far as we don't really have our take back function, we just need to copy this value. So that's the reason how we can avoid. Uh, uh, this sort of an error. So in order to fix this, so let's drop and let's go to copy board uh, Macro definition. So here, so just just right below I want to create the u64. Let's say hash hash key copy and It would be equal to uh, a hash key so just preserving uh, just preserving our hash key before making a move and then we'll, when we're taking it back uh, I just want to uh, restore it back so in this case we'll say hash key would be equal to hash key copy hash key copy and this is it so it now should pause the execution not here but on the next type of move I'm not sure which exactly that would be but it shouldn't stop in take back anymore ever so just to give you an idea I will later on uh, take that take back debugging code out because we won't really need that in future but for now I just want to want to want to keep it uh, but it, but obviously uh, it shouldn't fire uh, anymore uh, here so now we have this move d5 takes e6 and 
again we have a key mismatch and the reason for this is because even though we did uh, hash the pawn moving from from square and moving to two square still we didn't remove the the piece that has been captured we didn't remove that from the hash key so in order to fix this we need to go to uh we need to go to our make move function back make move and to the particular place where capture is occurring so if capture so capture is occurring right over in here so here we do remove it uh, the piece from the corresponding bit board and also we want to remove the piece uh, from hash key so in order to do this uh, I need to say final key bitwise or equals and I'm referencing the piece keys the piece keys and uh, now this bit word piece serves as the piece code uh, as the particular piece code so it, it's the different uh, a variable name just in order to avoid the clash with the piece variable that uh, we've extracted like which piece is moving from the move uh, integer so uh, indexed by the bit board piece and just where we are removing this from board so from target square it's the same so this in so here we're actually calculating the index to get away to take this piece away from the hash key as well and now uh, this move and uh, all the other captures shouldn't fire anymore so it should go further on so final key oh sorry not the what have I done not final key but hash key obviously hash key now this should be the next move okay perfect perfect so now we have this a2 a4 and the reason why this uh, stop has occurred because now we have our in peasant square being set up which is quite pretty important and the, here we need to be uh, especially accurate because well it, it took me some time to debug this so if I just forget it, something <laughs> during recording this video uh, I would probably reference my code uh, but for now I'll try to recreate the steps I've been doing a couple of days ago so and now we need to go uh, where the double phone push occurs within our make move function and we want to add our in peasant uh, 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 we need to hash the in peasant square so let's do it basically so now a promoted piece no it's not that uh, in peasant square okay okay so I would also want to change this code a little bit to because when I was initially doing this I didn't really think this would be happening and changing the move generator code needs to check whether the move generator still generates legal still generate legal moves because otherwise it would be a complete disaster but anyway so let's say if side is equal to white if side is equal to white uh, else uh, well, let's say just white to move and just black to move so oh hold on a sec guys well even though we would be doing this in the impasant as well uh, but just a little bit later on sorry uh, this this would be needed when we would be raising the pawn this would also be needed but uh, now actually we need to do this within not here but I just leave this code because we'll make use of it in the future uh, but now yeah we actually need to do this here with the double push so like this and if we have a double push we want to set in peasant square and so if it equals to white we need to say in peasant equals target square plus eight and hopefully it would be like this and otherwise 
it should be set in peasant square it should be like this so as far as I didn't yet do anything to the hash keys I should get the same position and the peasant should be a free still and it is and if I just command this out this should still be a free I hope okay still a free uh, anyway I will check the mood generator out later on but for now I'll just leave this as is so good and now uh, we can also hash in peasant in both cases so here I just want to say um, hash key hash key it's a little bit of duplication but still just for clarity I'm doing this so hash key bitwise or equals with in peasant keys and indexed by the target square plus eight so that's the exact uh, value of the in peasant square and respectively here uh, we would have this hash in peasant and it would be the same but minus eight respectively so let's carefully check this out so if black then square target square minus eight okay if white plus eight minus eight yeah so from now on if i did everything correctly well, uh, well at least i really hope so uh we'll we'll get rid of this code later on uh we'll make sure it works so it now should not drop at this a to e4 but pick up some other move okay so what's happening now a1 to b1 oh hold on a sec now this is a bit strange why why the rook move oh th this is castling okay okay so yeah this this is just fine so uh, we're dealing with the castling so castling has been changed uh and now let's go for a trick to handle this hashing and peasant so uh i'm doing it the same way as it done in wise by richard albert also known as blue fever software so in the code that regards to updating castling rights here so before and after we would be hashing in pass uh, hashing castling so hash castling and the trick is so first we exclude all the castling rights from the hash key and then we can uh, append them again so that's that's the trick so i can simply say like hash key uh bitwise or equals to um, castle keys indexed by castle castle uh, the variable uh, 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 responsible for the castling rights and we need to do this here so here when we do this here we just uh, get rid of all the castling rights it's like no n nobody uh, is allowed to castle nowhere and then we ha when we have just updated our castling rights so now this uh, castle is a new value is a new value now we just append in this back so that's the idea behind hashing uh hashing this castling keys and if i did everything correctly it should now uh go to some different position okay e1 g1 perfect so now uh it's time to deal with the castle moves which is a bit different than the castle right so the idea here is that king has moved by the but the rook hasn't moved really so that's that's the pain and we need to move uh, we need to take away the rook from uh we need to take uh so let's say hash hash rook uh, we need to take the rook away from where it was and add the key to where it is now so I can simply say uh, hash key bitwise or equals and piece keys and we're dealing with the white rook in this case and we want to remove it from h1 so remove rook from h1 from hash key and now we want to add this so 
to a new place so hash key uh, bitwise or equals to so it goes to g1 yeah uh, piece keys rogue and put it to f1 so now we would want to put rook on f1 into a hash key so now this castling should be right but this uh the queen side castling should drop at this moment okay so it drops because we didn't yet do the same stuff for the black rook so i just want to copy this code and paste it here and now we just need to change this to a1 and d1 and respectively in the commentary so a1 and d1 and now this should be should be working okay so at the depth one we did successfully uh, do all this stuff which is quite pretty nice and we didn't yet handle uh, our pawn promotions and uh, in peasant captures to remove the pawns so let's now increase our depth within the perp driver to two and go back to our make move function and now it should drop when the rook the when black rook is castling okay so uh let's adjust this stuff for the black rooks as well uh so here we are dealing with the black rook and we want to remove this from h8 and put this to f8 h8 sorry h8 and f8 save okay and now it should drop on queen side castling okay perfect so now let's take this and hash key uh, rook a8 d8 and in the commentaries a8 d8 and okay so the next issue okay c7 c6 i'm a bit confused by this drop to be honest because so make move Oh yeah, so here is the here is the trick that um, uh, we did go a to a four, right? And I'm just a bit wondering why the green peasant didn't drop when. Hold on a sec. So the idea is that we actually need to drop the in peasant. Uh, it's probably it's done here. Okay, guys, I I'm really sorry, but uh, this is the very precise stuff, and I really want I, I need to reference my source code because uh, I, I really need to be precise here. So uh, Zobrist key is embedded. I guess this is here. So. Let's say if in peasant is not equal to so just where we're hashing the in peasant so just right before well what we can do this after as well yeah so I think I think that yeah just because we're doing this after in all the other places so hash in peasant uh, and here I just want to say like reset uh, in peasant or actually remove in peasant remove in peasant from in peasant square from hash key so if uh, 
let's say hash and peasant make it just one line hash and pays in peasant if available so if in peasant is not equal to no square which means so uh there is the situation when we had our in peasant square being equal to something uh well in this case we had our in peasant square equal to a3 we, we don't print this but it was the move before c6 it was actually equal to c3 and after c6 it has been uh, uh it has gone back to no square but this wasn't yet represented within our hash key which is incredibly important to do so that's the reason why we need to say so if it was actually an, an not a no square but so, something else we need to kind of switch it back just remove it back from the hash key so uh, hash key bitwise or equals with in peasant keys and um, in peasant keys and by the indexed by the in peasant square or hold on a sec yeah yeah okay guys so uh, i just realized why i was doing this before not after because when we do this in peasant equals to no square it, it gets reset it just it's reset it's reset that's it so uh, here we have in peasant equals to no square and here we still have in peasant equals to some square so that's the reason why to put it here sorry for this yeah so this was the only way and hopefully it should be now uh dropping on some different move not okay perfect okay so uh it's already in a different position so in peasant has been re uh, restored back in the hash key correctly and now it seems like we're capturing uh, the pawn that was on a4 actually capturing this pawn and the idea the reason why this is happening that's because we didn't yet remove the pawn that we has captured uh from our in peasant square so this is what we need to do here so if site is equal to white first i need to duplicate the code so uh remove capture pawn uh so if site is equal to white we need to remove the pawn from here and otherwise we need to remove pawn from here and hold on a sec it's all also the matter of black and white ones so it's i need to be uh extremely accurate so if side is equal to white they want want to pop the white point bit boards or uh, black point bit boards if side is white yeah exactly and the target square plus eight good and if if it's black we want to pop the white pawn and the square target square minus eight well seems to be seems to be just right okay and what else and now to remove this pawn from the hash so remove pawn from hash key uh and i just want to say hash hash key bitwise or equals and piece keys so in this case we're having a black pawn and we need to remove this from here from target square plus eight where it was popped from and the same here but minus eight and this is the white pawn so it now should not be dropping here anymore okay and we do successfully pass the proofed uh at the depth of two but that's happening just because we didn't yet encounter uh promotions so when we go i'm not sure depth three or four uh we should we should get start getting uh we should start uh getting dropped when it comes to the promotion so one move two move well first three uh i, I guess that first three won't be a difference well, if there would be let's see I don't remember it should drop on yeah perf free works because it's still no promotions but at the perf four it should be dropping where the promotion occurs yeah this is it so you see like the promotion occurs here and we drop so uh i guess yeah we need to do two things to remove the pawn 
and to add this uh, promoted piece. So let's go to Control F and make move. So uh, let me just close this source. So make move and go where the promotions occur in promoted piece. Okay, so here we do erase pawn from the target square and set a promoted piece on chessboard. So here we want to remove pawn from remove pawn from hash key and just by saying hash key bitwise or equals and piece keys and okay so again this stuff like which point which point to consider oh my god so yeah let me just drop this for a while so it's again like white to move and black to move uh so if side is equal to white otherwise so i want to pop it and bit boards indexed by so if this is if side is white then bitboard is indexed by the white pawn and uh, drop this from the target square okay uh, yeah raise pawn from the target square like this okay and here it would be the black pawn so this is the only difference target square is the same so yeah just removing either white pawn if side to move is white from the target square or the black pawn seems to be quite pretty fine okay so uh, let's run to make sure that we have the same position still hopefully yeah hope this is this works okay and now we want to do what we've done here so remove pawn from hash key uh, remove pawn from hash key uh, piece keys and we're having a white pawn and we want to remove this from the target square okay and here we want to remove the pawn from we want to remove the black pawn from the target square but this this still would be dropping here even though this key would get changed yeah but we still drop because we didn't yet add uh, a promoted piece to our mm, we didn't yet add our promoted piece to the hash key so we want to add promoted piece into hash key into the hash key okay so hash key bitwise or equals and these keys Okay, guys, when I was watching Blue Fever Software's videos, uh, I was dreaming to do what he's doing, actually, and now I'm seeing, like, I'm making this <laughs> Zobrist hash, and I feel so happy. You, you you, probably won't understand this, but this is, this means so a lot to me. Okay, so uh, we want to add the promoted piece, whatever is there, and on the target square. And if I did everything correctly, this now should be working fine uh, it takes time to complete the perf because we're slowing the perf down significantly by those checks but still it should now uh, actually get done 
and I guess that's starting from this moment already so just to see how the modes are generated we can uh, switch from perf from perf driver to perf test it really takes time because uh, yeah I'm slowing down significantly via double enough uh, initializing this from scratch okay but still it completes and it doesn't interrupt the, the execution which is a good news for us so did, did command this code out okay so now let's go, it's, this is almost it so let's drop down and try to use the perf test instead uh, of the perf driver and I really hope to have the same number uh, so just uh, while it's searching let's refresh the memory regarding uh, the perf results so chess program and perf results I really hope that we're, there would be the same value still okay and then we'll run the perf uh, without that without slowing it down to make sure that it's the same on the higher on the different positions that's incredibly important to check so for this position we should have 4,085603 okay hopefully we have this this is this is fantastic okay guys so now it's time for some cleanups so I want to go to my make move function I want to go to my make move function and first thing that we'll, we'll get rid of this code but slightly bit later on because for now I just don't really want to touch that for now, uh, as far as we didn't interrupt the execution, uh, we can now command out this section. Uh, okay. And probably, you know, like, uh, I guess that the way uh, I will proceed, I will leave this code commented, I will leave all the code commented in uh, the source code for this video in particular. And starting from the next video, uh, I will just uh, get rid of this code, so in order to avoid it uh, uh, torturing you, like confusing you by, by its availability within the source file. Okay, so getting rid of this one, and also uh, let's go where... Uh, oh, actually we need the perfect, perfect driver. So also I want to, uh, did I, hold on a sec, did I just command out the variable in make move? Uh, just to make sure that I did, okay, oh I didn't, so let's actually make it like this, save. So now it should go as fast as it was before, so like almost instantly, assuming that uh, this is the debug mode, that's the reason why it goes slower compared to if we just uh, compile this with the optimizations. But anyway, so the results are the same. Uh, so the next few important steps to consider would it be to let's go to the perf depth 5 and just in, in order to avoid waiting for too long, I just compile this for release just to run the perf faster and the number we should obtain here would be this one and then we'll check this at the depth of 6 for the initial position to get this value and if it still works then we can conclude that we have embedded our uh, incremental updates of Zobrist, uh, uh, of Zobrist keys of hash keys uh, successfully okay it goes for about 20 or 30 seconds, seconds, I'm not sure really. But, oh, well, obviously, well, it should, okay, 193690690, okay, 19, oh, it's not that, sorry, hold on a sec, hold on a sec, uh, this one, 193690690, yeah, this one, exact the same, thank God, thank God this is the same, okay, and now let's go to the third position and go perfect six 
and we should get the number of this one 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 nine oh six oh three two four yeah the time is pretty the same as it was before one one nine oh six oh three two four well hopefully i didn't break the uh mood generator generator so the perfect uh seems to be having the same exactly the same results which is quite pretty nice and actually this is it guys so from now on we can make use of our uh, hash keys uh, uh within within the hash table and within and for detecting the threefold repetitions just as soon as i master how to do that in particular because now it's uh, a bit of a pain but anyway so uh i hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial i'm sorry for it lasting too long but i really wanted to walk through every single step i have walked through uh, a couple of days ago when i was debugging this initially to show you the process of how this is done actually so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial uh i personally feel this is the best tutorial so far i did <laughs> on youtube not only in chess programming but in web scraping that i was doing online uh, on another channel as well so i really feel satisfied after this so this is quite a pretty pretty good experience i wish you to feel this experience guys as well so making uh programming videos is really cool stuff okay guys so this is it from my side uh hope to see you in the next part uh and in the next few videos we're gonna be implementing the transposition table to speed up our research even more and then hopefully we'll go for detecting threefold repetitions so until that time and take care